Good morning and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be reviewing my Troop and Hero roster. So I'll start with the two star troops. I have one of the attack troops troop for each color maxed. One of the defense troops at level 10 and the others are 10, 10 and above for each color. So there you, have, there you see red, the greens, the blues, the yellows and the purples. For three star troops. Uh, I learned very early in the game that mana troops are the most important so I didn't pay much attention to the three star troops so that's why they, they're not closer to being fully leveled so you, there you see the reds, the greens the blues, the yellows and the purples yeah, I still need, need to do to do some more work on those troops. All right, so next we have the four star troops, and I mainly focused on the mana. But as you see, I have a critical troop for red at level eight, and the critical troop for. yellow at level 10 that's because I it took a really long time for me to get mana troops in those colors and I didn't I want my I wanted my troop colors to be mostly balanced so I started to level the, the critical troops and I got them for mana troops in purple green and blue they're at 23 right now and red and yellow are at 20 i plan to get the those two to 23 as well as soon as i can for magic troops i've only managed to pull blue and red I have one blue and two reds and I've started to level one of each as you can see one is at five and the other is at six I didn't I haven't really paid much attention to the ninja troops because we all know that mana is the most important one of the most important things in this game the faster your heroes are the better so yeah didn't really focus on those much all right that's it for my troops for the heroes I'll quickly go for the three stars and four stars and then do the fives uh, as you can see I have quite a variety of three stars leveled uh, that's the energy you're seeing here is my second copy the first one is maxed and fully emblemed I use both for mythic titans and I use the the one that's maxed and fully emblemed for regular titans since I have no other elemental defense down here as for ice I was really hoping to get Bailiff's costume from the chamber because I know how I s I've seen how valuable it can be in the tournaments, but I haven't gotten any luck with that yet. And you can see I have a quite a variety of three stars with emblems. I find use for them somewhere.
All right, so now, now we're on to the four stars. Uh, that's my second go copy of Guardian Jackal. I maxed on him and fully emblem limit broke the first one. I plan to at least max this one for for the purpose of the Mythic Titan as well. But since the event has now been moved to bi monthly, I I I, I don't see any reason to rush maxing him right now. And since I have other heroes, I want to level. Sabina, it's the same situation as with Beelith. Uh, I think her costume is great, but I just haven't had any luck pulling it yet. But once I, if I manage to pull it, I'll definitely max it as quickly as I can. But now, you, now you're seeing all my four stars that are maxed, no emblems. And these are the ones with emblems. Alright, so now we're on to the five stars. Uh, the Devana, Sinan, Kara, and Alexandrin you're seeing on the screen right now are duplicates. I was lucky enough to get duplicates of each of those heroes. Uh, I definitely intend to max Kara, this is the duplicate Kara, since that's she's the only taunt hero I have. I know how valuable they can be. The duplicate Sinan, I got him from the most recent Slayers event. Uh, I was really hoping for a different five star so I could pair when I have maxed with. For the f so I get the family bonus, but uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, I got Horga costume in the last costume chamber. Uh, I leveled him. I, I already had the original level to 370, so I just leveled the costume all the way to, to that point as well. Guardian Chameleon, I plan to max. Uh, a little later on, I, I know how I, I've used him in Mythic Titans, so I know his value there. Rock I got from the Hero Academy. I was really hoping to pull his costume in the Sans event, but I was lucky. Santa I got last Christmas. That's when that's when the costume came out, right? Uh, I am hesitant to max him because the I don't have any of his family members. I don't know how good he is on his. Well, I know he wouldn't be very good in defense by himself. Uh, Grimble I got back in 2019, December 2019. I, I knew his value right away from all the minions, minion summoners, so I maxed him. I wasn't fully able to use him at first because I didn't have the right level mana true, but now that I do, he's been an invaluable member to my team. I got lucky and pulled Baldur in a in the Valhalla portal, I use him mainly for map stages and sometimes in raids. Alright, uh, I pulled Vila January 2020. John Francois pulled him in, in February of the same year. Yeah. And now you're seeing my other heroes of the month, Hanitra, Iris, Glinda. I pulled them all when they were in the hero of the month. 
you're seeing my maxed Cara Alexandrine uh, Liana's costume I got it from the costume chamber not not the most previous not the most recent one but one before probably the one before that yeah you're seeing the Vanna uh, Lady of the Lake I chose I, as mentioned in my previous video I chose her from the soul exchange because I couldn't I didn't have enough heroes to trade in for Mother North so she was the next best option for me uh, Lepiota I got her when season 4 portal portal just opened so yeah she's been invaluable Elkanin's costume I got from my hero academy <clears throat> so then I pulled I pulled when Slayer's event just came out. I got Mickey a few months ago from Tavern of Legends. Uh, I knew his I know his value, so I maxed him as soon as I could. <clears throat> Vivica's costume I got it recently from the Hero Academy. So I'll be working on her after Arfanias. Okay, and that's basically it.